Good morning guys, welcome back to another episode of Raw Outdoors. Today we're going to be making some fish head ramen. We're going to be using red snapper heads and grouper head, or red grouper head. I've got my assistant chef Wesley right there and we're at Walmart getting together the stuff. So right now I'll take you through it. We got pillows on the floor for one. We're doing five gallons of water and then there. We got shredded cabbage, mushrooms, boiled eggs, paprika, some fish food, uh, cucumbers, and fresh organic ramen. So, oh, and ginger. So I'm gonna show you guys how to cook the heads, how to strip the meat from the heads, how to make your broth, because we're just starting with water. We're making our own stock. And me and Wes are gonna do it all for y'all and share with y'all how to make it. So. I'm going to finish up the shopping, drink my chocolate milk, and I'll see y'all back at the house. Today, we're making fish head ramen. So, let me show you a little bit about what we got going on here. So as y'all, oh, steamy. As y'all know, it is red snapper season on the West Coast. And a friend of mine from work, his dad went over on a three day excursion and caught that red snapper along with a few others. We got a cooler outside from some mangrove snappers, some vermilions that he gave me. And we've got three red grouper heads that we're going to cook alongside with this red snapper. Last time I did this, I did it with gag grouper. Shout out to East Side Fishing for that because we're going to use the same recipe that I used then now. So a little bit on the recipe. We have five gallons of water out there. We're going to be putting ginger in. After we pick our heads, we're going to pick all the edible meat off and then take the gills out and everything else is gonna go into my stock pot. I got five gallons of water. We're gonna do soy, ginger, seasonings, white pepper, and the fish stock, bring it to a boil, let it simmer down, get all the big stuff out of it. I'm gonna walk through the process with y'all and show y'all how to do it because it is some really good stuff and learn how to do it. It's easy, you put it in the oven, the fish cooks itself. The rest of it, you boil water and let it simmer. So, I mean, when it comes to, you know, difficulty, it's not a hard recipe. It just takes some time. So, we're going to go ahead and we started this fish. I just covered it in olive oil. It still has the scales on it as of now. After it's done cooking, I'm going to knock the scales and the skin off and pick all the rest of the meat out. I had it in for an hour. It's going to cook for a total of probably an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes. And... We got 20 minutes left on that first hour, right there. I'm cooking it at 350 because last time I did it a little bit higher and I felt like it cooked the outside too fast and not the middle. And yeah, she's all steamy in there. Huh. So, but good white meat, good red snapper, and we're gonna do that and I'll show y'all how to do the rest of it. So I will get back to y'all after the snapper's done. Thanks for watching that for me, guys. Let's get into it and get this bad boy flipped over. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it out, we'll flip it over, put it back in for a little bit longer, but this is a nice little checkup <laughs> to see how our fish is doing. And this, guys, is also a great way if you're trying to make a jaw mount out of like a decent sized catch. Because we're going to end up going through and picking all the meat off of this thing anyway. So then, boil your jaws after you get done straining them out from the stock. Hydrogen peroxide them. We might do that, but that'll be a separate little, separate little video. Alright, let's take a look. So, we got our red snapper right there. And look at how white that meat is, guys. Like, that's some crazy stuff right there.
All right, we're gonna turn it over because there's a lot of meat in the body on this fish. So I'll put y'all up here because I need my hands. Uh, we gotta get y'all so y'all can see it. Hold on. Bingo. All right, so the easiest way that I've found to do this is you get some tongs, make sure they work, and then come in inside of the fish. Give them a nice little flipsy like a burger. And then I already added some olive oil to it. We're gonna give them some Everglades fish and chicken. And then we're gonna put her right back to where she came from. We'll give her another 35, 45 minutes. I'll open up the bottom here. Slider in there. And slam the shit out of that. All right, well, whoopsie. We have a fin though, that can go in the garbage. All right, I'm gonna set the timer. We'll get back to you after. All right, guys, fish is done. We're going to take it out. Now it's a zombie fish. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it out. We're going to let it sit. After 10, 15 minutes, maybe, it'll be cool enough to where we can start picking it off. What we're going to do is I'm going to put you guys in a time lapse because it takes a little bit to get everything out of all the bones. I filled up uh my three gallon stove pot so all the bones from there are going to go in there with the water boil it down make our fish stock and then from there we can start adding all of our other seasonings and stuff but y'all just sit back enjoy a little bit of music i'm gonna pick apart this fish and then i'll get right back to you Alrighty guys, so we got the snapper all cleaned up. I kept the jaws out so that I can boil them and do something with them. I think I might make a jaw mount for my coworker's dad since he provided the fish. He left with a little bit of like the scrappy meat, but it's mostly meat, scales, that kind of crap. Uh, if you leave the scales on it when you cook it, like y'all probably saw in the slow-mo, you can actually just peel the whole level off because they actually kind of stay together still. So then you can take it off and it works a lot better for that. But let me show you the yield. We have the yield right here. Decent amount of meat right there. We've got a little saucepan there and it's just about full. And that's just from one head. We still got three more to do. I'm probably going to do those off camera because it's already going to be long in total. There's the skull, all the other little bones. You can already kind of see that oil over the top. We're gonna bring it to a boil, get all of the leftover meats and stuff that are on the bones off. Those will produce a fat. And then you basically use the fat from the fish, which is when the snapper and the grouper become really good because they're a fattier fish anyway. All of the, that stomach meat and stuff that's in here is fat. So we're gonna boil this down after it boils and we make sure that we get all the fat out of it. We're gonna strain it so that the bones are out of it and then we can start putting together the rest of our stock. So I will see y'all then. Alrighty guys, so yesterday we went over how to make your stock. 
I boiled the stock for a few hours and then I actually put it in the fridge for overnight. You don't have to do that, but I did it because one, I was out of time for the night and two, it marinates it down and it really lets all of those juices get out of the bones and stuff. I just picked through the bones and stuff and threw all the extra bones out. This is what you're left with. And you can see that whole fat level on the top. So now we have a good base for a broth. So what we're gonna do to make our broth is you have squeezed ginger. I'm making five gallons of this, so I'm gonna make it strong for here and then I'm gonna be able to cut it with regular water. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put two of these in. This stuff's from Walmart. We're gonna use some Everglades fish and chicken just as flavor. Actually, no, I think we're gonna add some heat to this one. Uh, my coworkers like heat, so we're gonna go through and we'll get us some chili powder. And I had some paprika somewhere. Oh, there it is, and paprika. So we're gonna do those two. We're gonna do ground white pepper. It has to be white pepper, it can't be black pepper. And then some low sodium soy sauce. And then I like to do it. I add mushrooms into it too. So I'm gonna set you all up and we're gonna put it all together and start stirring it around. We're still on high heat. It's not boiling, but it's hot. We got three gallons of water. So it's, I put it on the stove straight from the fridge. So it's gonna take a while, but basically we're gonna add all the stuff to it, bring it to a boil, drop it down to a simmer and let it simmer for a while. So all those flavors mingle together and then uh, I just went through. This is just one red snapper, filled up this entire container, broke it into little pieces so that we can top our ramen with it when we're all done. So I'm gonna set you all up and get to mixing and cooking. All right. So we just put all of our ingredients in. This is what we have working now. So now we're gonna just give her some little stirring love action and end up with a nice dark broth uh, with the soy and ginger and stuff in there. I might go pick up another thing of ginger just cause I know when I dilute it, it's probably gonna uh, lose some of that ginger. Uh, I'm gonna let it come up to a boil. We'll drop it down and let it simmer. And then towards the end, we're going to go ahead and add our mushrooms. You don't wanna add those right away, but we're getting there. It's all coming together. So I'll get back to y'all later on. Alrighty guys, we're about at the end of this recipe. This is what we have left. So I brought it up to a boil, let it go back down and simmer, added the onions, and it's been off of heat for about two hours and it's still sitting here steaming. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cut up some carrots. We have some shredded fresh cabbage or fresh enough, a cucumber and some hard boiled eggs. So that's what goes on top of it. We have the fish in the fridge that we're gonna add on top too. So I'm gonna throw you guys into another time lapse, cut all of this stuff up, put the water in the little pot. We're gonna bring that to a boil and that's what we're gonna cook our ramen in. And I am going to use this ramen right here. So you boil the ramen in there so that the ramen absorbs all the flavor. So we're going to get that going and I will see y'all when we're done with our finished product. So the ramen, that cooks for three or four minutes. You cook it in the broth just like this. And then now we're gonna put together our bowl. So we have a bowl. Gonna take some of the ramen. Ah! Now they work. Take the ramen. In the bowl. Put 
Now what you do now is the fish you don't reheat because you don't want to overcook it. So you put some of the fish on top of your ramen. Now you take your ladle, take some of the broth out of here and you pour it right over the fish to warm that fish back right back up. So you fill it up until you feel like you're happy with how much broth is in there. Take the extra ramen out. Some shredded cabbage. Chopped corn. Some cucumbers. Two eggs. Get yourself a fancy spoon. A couple chopsticks. And that is your ramen right there. Easy recipe to make. I made it with a little bit less ramen this time because last time we used two packs, there was a lot of ramen. So, but right there is all you need. And now that's fish head ramen. I'm gonna get into this, put it in my belly, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.